The final burial on the south we think is Captain William West, who was a nephew of Lord Delaware Thomas West, who really saved the colony. And I should point out that he was also buried in one of these human-shaped coffins. There was an artifact with that burial, and it turns out to have been uh, probably an officer's decorative sash, uh, it, which had uh, what we're calling bullion fringe or uh, a silver on silk uh, remain of that of that uh, particular item, and and that uh, it's showing you that this was a high status person and a, and a military man high up in rank. This man is the last one for us to consider. He's the individual that was the southern burial, and this whole process involved looking at who is at the stature, the social standing of the 17th century perspective, to be buried in the chancel area of the church. As we were working this, the Kari Brulhide, the other forensic anthropologist working on this with me, as we were working through this, and she picked up this dental feature, and we looked at this just complete absence of tooth wear, it made us go back to the Jamestown archaeologists and ask, well, who could you have that's really a, a 20-year-old, meaning 20s, roughly, say, 23, 24, 25. And that required a real search. Through the review of the records, there emerged an individual that was related to Lord Delaware. And this man named West, Captain West, became an obvious candidate. Captain William West was the youngest of the four men buried in the chancel. He arrived with the fleet of Lord Delaware in June of 1610 and was himself a relative of Delaware. He didn't survive long. He accompanied a military expedition to the falls of the James River, where currently Richmond is located, and was killed in fighting against elite Powhatan and Pamunkey warriors. He was brought back to the fort and buried in an elaborate coffin, along with part of a sash. Only the fringe has survived but enough to indicate his important status.